Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane, and today we'll be having a look at Polygonum. That's P O G. It's a DeFi game with crypto and NFT marketplace, and, and it's an open world game and experience. Now, in the world of Polygonum, where you can get a real world reward for competing in NPC quests and for mining in caves, building a farm or create your own corporation, opportunities in a large open world are divided into three zones. PVP, Polygonum Online is a world where you decide what to do and who to be. Multiplayer survival simulation game with a real money system, POG coin, where everyone can buy and sell in-game items, own territories, unite into communities, and mine in coins and resources. Now, before we go further, allow me to declare this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Now, it gets even more interesting with Polygonum. The game consists of an open world divided into three main zones. That's battle with players, hunting and explore, hunting and exploration, and farming, which is growing food and animals. The single server allows players to connect from different devices, PC or mobile phones, and they can stay online. Creating the world of Polygonum Online, they set out, they set the goal to make players with a different approach to the game feel comfortable and confident, knowing that there will always be something to their liking. Players who enjoy interacting with their surroundings will be able to complete the story mission, hunt, fish, and mine other resources. Players that are eager for competition and interaction with other players will be able to show themselves in capturing territory, battling with them, raiding other players to seize their loot, and building barricades together to protect them from all kinds of threats. Now, there'll be peaceful farmers will be able to focus on their efforts on developing their agriculture, caring for their own animals and crops, and in order to avoid a chaotic overlap of activity with another, it was decided to divide the world into sectors according to activity. So what are some of the unique selling points for this game? Starting with avatars, digital characters through one interactions with the world. It can be changed optimally. In-game items all available inside the game that can be created or, or founded at the expenses of in-game world. There'll also be NFT marketplaces, objects and territories. Limited offers to improve a character's skill and create one's own community by purchasing and owning a territory. There'll also be quests and events, mining, building, insurance, and lease. So that just sounds really realistic and really crazy, but it also sounds really cool and really awesome and something that I would like to enjoy. Now, starting with events, events are award various gifts to players upon their completion. There's also mining, mining of coins and resources in the game, constructions of building in the PVE zones, and of course, insurance, buildings, vehicles, items. So that's quite new for an NFT game that I think that I've heard of. Insurance, wow. And leasing, territories, transport, items from Polygonum and players. You can actually lease things in this game. And of course, there'll be the IDO in November where we are right now, starting with DAO Maker between the 12th and the 15th of November. And on the 16th, there'll be GameFi and on the 17th, it will be Red Kite. Really interesting stuff. Obviously, the ICO is upcoming starting on the 12th of November. So this is actually really exciting. And the tokens themselves will be priced at 0 0.08 cents. And the fundraising goal is to raise 120,000 US dollars. That's quite optimistic in my opinion. If this game can actually live up to its expectations, I think there'll be a lot of people who are interested in this game. And of course, there'll be different coins in the Polygonum gaming system. There'll be the POG coin itself, the governance token, and there'll be the skill points token, which is in... Now, it is a cross-platform game, which is brilliant. PC, mobile, and browser. NFT plus NPC marketplace, buy and sell in-game items. It's an open world game, which is really good. And there's also staking of the POG, the governance token, for getting unique NFT items as rewards. Players can also control the game by voting, no admin panels, only community and only hardcore. So this is awesome. In this game, you can craft, you can interact with the NFT marketplace, you can stake your tokens and you can gain rewards through farming quests. They give us a breakdown of where the tokens will be distributed to. 
Private and seed sales are 17.5 million tokens. Public sale is 3.5 million. And the teams, they get 12 million tokens. Advisors get 7.5 million tokens. Farming and mining get 30 million tokens, 15 million to liquidity, 8 million to marketing, 5 million to treasury, and 1.5 million to seed SHO. One of the things that makes me really exciting about this game and the token economy is the fact that there's only 100 tokens in max supply. This is really good because this means that there's a low token supply, which means that the tokens will be extremely valuable. And given the fact that the tokens will be really cheap upon, upon the sale of these tokens, because with a low supply of token and an NFT marketplace, NFT items and a crypto game itself, I have a feeling that these tokens are going to be extremely valuable in the years to come. And to confirm this, only time will tell. But I have a good feeling about this platform and the game and the tokens. So overall, I really hope everyone has enjoyed this video on Polygon Online. I definitely think this is a great project to see that's joining the crypto gaming space. It's going to be exciting to see how this project pans out, if it is successful. And I do believe that this project will be extremely successful, especially for a crypto low poly gaming experience. It's bringing something new to the space and it's bringing something that's an open world experience. And if you're interested in the development team behind this project, the teams to view the team, it's also available on their website and it's available on daomaker.com. And there's additional information that can be very useful. We've already spoken about the token distribution and the token and the token economy so far. So it's been really exciting to make this video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you subscribe, leave a like to see more. And let me know, is there anything that I missed in this token? I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.